So we have this image that I would like to duplicate and make a crowd out of. So a single person where the crowd is consisting of that one person over and over again. So to do that, I'm going to go here to my quick selection tool. All right. And I am going I have my brush set pretty high, 179, and I'm going to go around and select the white. Now you notice the light color is being selected and you can see the ant line going around here and down to there. Okay, keeping on. Now if you notice what happened here, the ant line goes down here up and includes the arm on the white selection. So I am going to um, undo um, quick selection and um, I'm actually going to do that all the way back so that um, there's nothing selected right and I'm going to take the pencil the pencil and I have a brush size of nine and then I'm going to go here just add in a little line to make it so that um, it's close enough to where the um, to this skirt side so that it won't um, go up and include the arm in the white. So now I'm going to again go to my quick selection. So again with my very large brush you can see the ant line here. Okay. Okay. Now it goes by the arm and down the skirt. And I just go around and get it all. So now it borders the um, outline of the girl the way I want it to. And then comes up here. So it gets a little bit of the gray. I'm not too worried about that. And uh, then it comes back up here. So I'm going to do a select inverse. Select inverse. Now it's not the white selected anymore, it's the girl herself, right? So now I'm going to do a copy, control C. And then I'm going to make a new one, File, New, and then I'm going to select Background Contents Transparent, and we say OK. And it comes up the size of the selected item, but I'll do a Control V, and there we are. So now we've got one person and she's on layer one. So I am going to duplicate this layer by right clicking and then duplicate layer and it says layer one copy. Okay. I'm going to actually um, take that now and I'm going to change the size of the image. So I'm going to go to image canvas size the canvas size. So I want mine to be a print page. So the width is 11 inches and the height will be eight and a half. Point five. Okay. The current size is 1.1 by 2.153. But we're not too worried about that. So, so now it's a large canvas and a slightly smaller girl. And now I'm going to select my image using just the um, the pointer and I'm going to rescale her down so I want her to be small okay and then I want the one behind it to be small also so I'm going to click on layer one okay pointer apply the transformation, apply. Okay, now I go to layer one 
and I can take the if that's the one in the background now and I can take that and make it pretty small too bring it up and make it small so the idea is that as the people in the crowd come closer they will get bigger okay so that's layer one this is layer one copy oh okay apply transformation okay layer one copy I'm going to bring up here and she'll be see a little bit in front so the higher up you go the more in front the um, image and so I'll just make another copy duplicate layer layer one copy two and then we can take this one now and move it over here if I want to make it tall and skinny I just adjust the sizing and it's a tall skinny person now and then I do it again oh I have to apply it pointer apply and then I duplicate the layer again layer one copy three okay so then what I can do now is I can take these three and then I can merge them so I'll, if I select all three I could I could select multiples and then merge them but for right now I'm okay with um, now taking the next one and bringing it down so I have four I could make her short and fat slightly bigger because she's closer to us closer to the front that looks a little funny maybe a little bit less short okay and so you can see that we can make our crowd one by one apply okay and then we do right click again duplicate layer Layer one copy four okay so now it's here and she can come here and be a little bit bigger actually so what I am going to do I am going to go ahead and duplicate and co and uh, merge these and then we'll copy the duplicated one here I have all of those layers selected all except one I'm going to do right click and I'm going to say merge layers merge layers okay so now I only have two layers and then if I duplicate this layer okay I have this whole bunch that I can then just merge over here and make a new crowd and actually look I can just come up here that's awesome isn't it then let's duplicate that again okay and then we can take them and bring them over here and this guy is in front so we're gonna get get her to move all right let's apply that transformation let's move this one out and down now let's take this one apply the transformation let's take this one and then we'll duplicate that so we're hoping nobody notices that it's the same five or six that are duplicated over and over again and we want to make sure that when we're overlapping that we are so see this is a little bit out of um, okay we got us a crowd so basically the way this was done was by linking several layers together so we got um, the grouping of people and then copied that grouping over and over again to a new layer uh, moving it create a duplicate layer moving it create a duplicate layer so each one of these now if I was to make these layers transparent 
then we would see, and I'll do that in turn, starting with the top and moving down till it's only the bottom one that we see. So removing the top layer, that's that person. Removing the next layer, that's that grouping. Removing the next layer, that grouping. And removing the next layer. So now they're all invisible. Putting them back in. One. Two. Three. Four. It's a crowd. And this is what I'm doing to, rem to make the layers hidden. Hide. You press that. Left click on that and it goes away. It makes it invisible. There we go. Pretty nice. So now you could actually group all of these layers and make it a single image that you use something else. You can cut it off and uh, paste it into something else. Nice.